Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Have you ever heard of Lofty? No. What the hell is that? Okay. Like Gritty? Like the is another mascot? No, no, no. It's um. Kenny Lofton. So I I've looked into it. I've considered doing this because just to try it out because it sounds cool. I, it's probably. I mean, it has it has good reviews online, so I, I feel it's legit. Are you talking about top surgery? No, <laughs> no, no. Thank you. <laughs> so what they do. Is you basically they take like a real property, okay. like a house. Sure. They tokenize it. Oh Jesus! On the blockchain. Okay, here we go. And they sell shares of this property for like fifty bucks a piece. Timeshare. Just a piece of the property. You're part of the owner, but you're not liable because they they create a DAO LLC. Yeah. So then, like. Depending on how many pieces of this house you own, they at certain different points you get to vote on different things that happen with the property based on your ownership. Bruh. And no one can own more than fifteen percent of the property. Bruh. And as they rent out, the rent gets distributed to the owners at a proportionate amount of what you own of the property. So like you obviously if you only put fifty dollars in a two hundred thousand dollar property, you're getting a few cents a month or whatever. Yeah. But then like and then it, then there's like a fund that like, uh, that repairs get done out of. And then like, if you have to do a major repair on the house, like they've, you have to like vote. And then some of the rent goes towards that fund again until it's up to a hundred percent. Then you start getting your full payout again. And like, so, and you can do this for all sorts of properties as many as you want, but you can buy in at $50 at, at a time. Okay. And then later you can sell your 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 tokenized prop part of the property. So I would imagine if the value of the house goes up, you the the value of each token probably goes up. But yeah. then if the house get, burns down, I'm, I don't know, or whatever the property value goes down, the token price might go down. But yeah, it's like it's like uh uh passive income. It's okay, so f first off it sounded like a scam. And I thought that too, but it's legit. And then as we started, as you started talking about it, it sounded like, like a crowdsourcing rentals, rentals. That's essentially what it is. Yes. And then you have a say in what happens at the property because you vote based on your shares. So I guess the only part that still gives me any like uh, any pause would be the idea of who gets to like who's making these decisions. Who comes in and says, "Oh, the toaster's broken; it needs to be repaired." Uh, property management companies that oh, that like like you would have in any rental. And what is to stop any of those companies from saying, "Oh, this is broken; it costs this much," and then pocketing whatever it costs? I mean, people can go and check it out; they're real life properties. I mean, I feel you, but. What are the chances of that? Well, happening? I was looking at some of them, and it was very interesting. Like there was some in Cleveland, in like the hood. You could tell it was like the hood of Cleveland, yeah, I'm good. and like, and there would be like on the notes, it would be like tenant finally evicted after non-payment, went in basement was flooded with two feet of water, it cost X amount of money to get the water pumped out of the basement, yada yada. But then there was like properties in like Miami Beach and stuff like that. Like so, you could go high, and then the ones in the high risk, like in the hood in Cleveland and stuff had a better return on investment than like, oh. but a higher chance of the pro of somebody not renting the property or defaulting on their rent. And obviously you're not getting rent if they're evicting them. So it's like, you don't always make money because the house could be empty. The people oh. could not be paying rent. Okay. So okay. I was like, I was like, I, I like, I signed up for an account and I was like, man, I'd be willing to maybe throw like 500 bucks at that. Like, yeah, by, yeah, yeah, just yeah, see yeah, yeah. if I made, 35 cents a month or or two bucks a month or like whatever I, then but over time i might be like okay let me try a property in like miami and like i don't know it could it, yeah, yeah 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 yeah. and it's all ran on the uh i don't know it's the algorand blockchain algo is uh an alt it's not like an alt coin but it's not it's it's, it's one of, i mean it's not that bad i don't know man whenever i start hearing about that I, i'm sorry i'm gonna have to represent that person who is not uh 100 on board with this whole blockchain and the NFTs yeah no i feel you i know so i gotta i gotta represent that it gives me a little like nervousness man when i think about other people controlling the money now i understand because i have also been into the stock market to, to a certain extent where you can like put money out there and you can make money back i've made money yeah yeah you know, we've, we've we've both been been blessed yeah yeah but i still get a little nervous when i saw what happened to bitcoin which was the standard 
of yeah. the most well, I mean, stable. All crypto oh. crashed like ninety percent. Uh, it did. It did. It did. Yeah, but no, man. I was like, hmm. I was like, it's it. it Peaks my interest enough that I'd be willing to maybe yeah like maybe like five hundred bucks buy like two yeah. shares of like five property five rando properties or whatever and, and in this case the bag holder is the tenant I guess yes. I mean yeah because they're just I mean the same as for any tenant you're paying the guy's mortgage like if we yeah. owned a house they pay, they're paying our mortgage to live there yeah so it's the same thing just instead of it being one person it's I don't and like some of the properties they say there's like a thousand tokens for this house or whatever or whatever it is. I don't know how it works out. Um but yeah, dude, it's it's interesting. I mean, I'd be the only thing is like the taxes on it, like because it's it's rental income. So the so like and it said what it did say is if you have a property in a state that because it's income earned in that state. So like if that if that state has state tax, you have to pay state tax. For that, so you, I would just want to do states like Florida and Texas that don't have state taxes, yeah, 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 so you yeah. don't have to worry about it. Um, <laughs> but like, I was like, man, I'd be willing to throw a couple hundred bucks and just see what happens. Like, if I make twenty bucks a year, whatever. I mean, it'd be yeah. worth, it'd be interesting to see how it works. I mean, like, I, I don't know. At least you're helping somebody else launder their money. Be, yeah, right. <laughs> no, but I, I thought it was a really cool thing, and like, I I read reviews, and like, they all, I mean, they all came back pretty good that it was legit, and like, it's just you run the risk of the house being empty, or the yeah. or the person not paying rent, or their, yeah, like the basement floods. The like, idea that you can't own any more than fifteen percent is, is it's is so people little... can't control the vote. Yeah, yeah. Because all the things that happen are voted on by the but, and obviously a lot of people don't vote. They don't care. There's like exactly. so that's why I think it's fifteen percent because. If I own 15%, I'm making sure I vote all my shares, but if on, if only 25% of the owners vote and you own 15, like yeah. you're you're the majority at that point. So, yeah. so I, it's get like, it. I get it. I get yeah, it. Yeah, so I don't know, man. It was it was it's interesting. An interesting idea, man. It, it 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 just amazes me like how people can always find a way to to make money by basically just writing code cuz this is just code writing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, exactly. It's just it's taking a property, registering it to an LLC and then tokenizing it and breaking it up a bunch of a bunch a bunch of people. Yeah, because like all of that's done just like through a program. So it, it almost makes me think, why can't we do this with other things? Now, I don't want to go out here putting ideas out in people's head and if you do take this idea and you make a million dollars with it, you better remember that I said it. It's on camera and I already own the intellectual property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why can't we just do this with anything? No, and I th- but I think that's where we're going. I think that is going to be the future. And I'm gonna have no, to but re- not like broken down, but I think the same thing's going to happen. Like when you want to buy a house, it's, you're going to buy a token on a blockchain. It's immutable. Oh. It's public record. It, that's where your deed is going to be held. See, uh, your car is going to be held on. All that info is going to be blockchain instead of like right. a paper. And, and CNN, that's disgusting. It sounds like the Matrix. But like, why could you want to get fucking Neuralink <laughs> and tokenizing a car title is too far for you? It that's where I don't gross. get your boomer it ass. Sounds gross to me. Yeah, dude. like I'm like you're like put no. a computer in my head, yeah. but tokenize my title of my car. Oh, Ew. Well, why is everything out of it? It's, it's over. It's overused terminology. It's like I don't know, man. It just it, it, it already. Gonna, NFT in my car, in my gross. It, yeah, it's overused terminology. It's like lit. Nobody well, uses lit, lit anymore. Bro. Nobody uses lit anymore, you know? Yeah, dude. <laughs> somebody, by the way, before we end this, somebody told me that yeah. nowadays, yeah. Like, p- ki- like the kids nowadays cringe when you use gifts in text conversation. Like gifts have now like fallen out of favor. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like it's old like, people ew. started doing it. What old people started? Yeah, they're like it. ew, no more. Ge-. So yeah, it's, it's like yeah. Once the old people start doing it, then it becomes uncool. Oh yeah. Like so, what do they do now instead of gifts? I know you're keeping near the pulse of the streets. Oh bro, you gotta keep. You gotta get your emoji game up. Oh, so now it's emojis instead. Yeah, of- I could have a whole conversation with you with emojis. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of emojis now. There's like yeah. tons and tons and tons. <laughs> Believe me, man. Drug dealers have been using emojis for years. And yeah, I mean, I've been talking to my girl with emojis too. Like, have you? Yeah, a little eggplant, little, <laughs> little, little tomato, little. You making a salad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you trying to tell yeah, me? Yeah, a little peach. <laughs> you trying to tell me you going vegan? Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. carnivore be gone, dude. Yeah, this is straight up you. lettuce, baby. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazydown.com for Jonas. See you, think. Oh, yep. Yeah.